Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am here to make an emergency video for you guys about Dennis T. Liu and stepping in on short notice to fight Christian Leroy Duncan. And I just realized what a jerk off I sounded like talking about an emergency video like I'm a fucking doctor or something instead of some asshole on YouTube. But anyway, I did not know about this fight until very recently, even though it's been booked for a few days now, apparently. Sure dog has been down. But Christian Leroy Duncan is uh, probably going to win this fight. That's my assessment. Dennis T. Uluin is a limited fighter. Very tough guy, despite having been finished in six of his, whatever, eight losses. He's got two by TKO, or KO, and one, uh, four by submission. And three of the submissions, I believe, are technical submissions, which is, is a true testament to his toughness and grit, but not to his submission defense. And the two TKO losses, the first one happened 10 years ago, whatever. I believe he was grounded and pounded. And the last one, he was grounded and pounded, but he was knocked unconscious. However, he was fighting Gregory Rodriguez, who has Mike Tyson's power. And uh, a really good jiu-jitsu game, too. So, that was just a very bad matchup. Especially because Rodriguez decided to fight like he can. But, here in this fight, you could argue it's a uh, potentially stylistically, not not favorable matchup, but welcoming matchup Christian, in that Christian Leroy Duncan is a striker. But I think Christian Leroy Duncan is a better striker, which makes it maybe a bad matchup to begin with. And on top of that, Christian Leroy Duncan is in shape and he's uh, better everywhere, I'd say. I think Christian Leroy Duncan has a good chance of getting a submission in this fight. Dennis, he's a very tough guy. And uh, he is a guy that can, he's comfortable on the feet and he wants to engage in a brawl, but he's not the sharpest technical striker. And I think on that basis alone, level one, he is outclassed and outgunned. Christian Leroy Duncan is better from the outside. He's got some flashier shit. Uh, he's definitely more dangerous. And I think he's healthier as well. Christian Leroy Duncan has never been finished. And he seems to have a, a solid chin. He was defeated once and it was by as a pro. He had an extensive amateur record, Christian Leroy Duncan, where he was defeated, I think, six times all by decision, out grappled. And against Armin Petrosian, he was uh he fought a guy who was a cleaner striker than him and who was able to uh mix in a little bit of grappling and uh get the better of him. He out hustled him to a decision. But here I don't think uh Dennis that's a path to victory for Dennis T. Uh, you know, he's I mean, I guess his paths to victory are either a clean knockout, which doesn't seem possible yet on paper, or trying to duplicate that success that Armin Petrosian found. And I don't think Dennis Tiulin, uh, Tiulin, I don't know why I corrected myself by saying his name incorrectly, uh, but I think uh, he doesn't have that in him anyway. I think he's going to be reduced to being a brawler, and his best chance of victory really in this fight is probably just catching a chin that hasn't been caught yet. Uh, I expect Christian Leroy Duncan to work him from the outside, and if he does hurt him, I think uh, still a submission is even more likely than a TKO, and I think the chance of him going that route anyway and trying to mix things up and get a uh, takedown and work him over on the ground is actually pretty high. I think Christian Leroy Duncan sees this as an opportunity to flex uh, his all-around MMA game, and maybe his ground game in particular, so... Maybe if there's a prop to be hit, it'd be Christian Leroy Duncan by submission, but essentially I'm staying away from this. His money line is at minus 600. I'm pretty sure he's going to win, but again, he's still an inexperienced pro fighter and uh, suffered his, uh, his loss, his one sole loss in his most recent fight. So, uh, whatever. He still might be a different fighter, but I don't think uh, Dennis Diulian is going to win this fight under any circumstances, frankly. So Christian Leroy Duncan is the pick. And the bets, I haven't seen the props yet. They aren't available. But if uh, if they do show up, come fight time, in a few hours, really, I think Christian Leroy Duncan by submission might be worth it. But that's because I'm expecting some juicy odds. Sometimes they're on top of the shit, and that doesn't, it's not even worth it. So generally staying away from this, but... Credit to Teal Ewan. I do hope he wins. I'm always rooting for the guy that steps up, really. But certainly he, uh, he he's a fun brawler who's had a tough go at things in the UFC. But he's shown toughness 
in uh, every one of his defeats, really, aside from, I guess, the Gregory Rodriguez fight, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? You're fighting that guy, and he's on top of you. So like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.